Hello all and welcome back to the channel. This is me Farmer Elwick Street and this time we're looking at the latest update for Spetsco Island by Aeon Jim. If you're looking for, then please stay tuned. Hello folks and welcome back and yep, yeah, as I said in the intro, this is going to be update 1.1 for Spectacle Island and it's a absolute huge update. First thing to note is no new game save is required. That's very handy to know, so if you're doing a let's play example what I'm doing at the moment on Spectacle Island, um, you don't have, have a new game save, that's one good thing. Uh, I'm just looking at some of the notes here, there's a couple of notes. Um, it's added support for the old productions pack by Farmer Mahu, as well as the upcoming gold production by Farmer Mahu, which which I've already seen little clips of it, little thumbnails, well, little screenshots of it, and it looks really good. So I'm looking forward to that for Spectacle Island. By the way, so let's look at the changelog 1.1. Starting off with fishing boat modified to grain boat to carry grains to various cell points. Log barge has been modified to a ferry with ramps. The ferry tension belts has increased from 4 to 12. Added tension spouts to the log crane. Added the ability to hide field hedges and fences or just remove collisions, which I absolutely love that. Added a boat fuel point at the sawmill. Added a wood chip cell point for use with the grain boat. Added a cell point to the shore barn and use of sent by boats. Added another boat unknown station. Added animal gates across the sheep's pen. Added a secondary gate at the pig pen for better access. Added a water field trigger at the Spectacle Estate water fountain. Added collisions to the bridge gaps on path to the main farm to prevent getting stuck, which will perhaps help a lot of people. Choose the ferry ports for better access to and from the ferry. And the main farm side can now store wood chips, pig food, seed, lime and fertilizer. Um, the cargo ship volume has been earned by 50%. And various props as added for optimization. As well as yeah, the triggers to hide edges and fences can be found at the main farmhouse. So that's a bit of a big hole to start off with folks. So let's just take this one by one shall we? I think first of all, quickly turn game safe off. So yeah, start off with yeah the cargo ship. I know a lot of people have got annoyed by the cargo ship volume. Me personally, it's not too bad. It can be annoying at times, but the options there now, so oh, it's there now. So hopefully, less people will be annoyed by it. Also, I think I didn't actually notice this when I did the initial match, or it might have been added, but. So if you go up here, and there is a plane that goes around, and I think there's a trigger point here, yeah. Um, spare me a set, folks. There we go, so I've opened the tab there. So yeah, you can turn air traffic on or off. So if we press 28, Should I should circle so you can turn air traffic on or off, which is a good thing to know. So, or we'll leave it on for now. So, yeah, that is that. Go down here, we're gonna hop into the new update laser TLX Phoenix with the rigid version. Let's get rid of you so. Let's head off, shall we? So yeah, first of all, uh, we're going to head to... Towards the main farm, I think we'll head off first of all. A little bit of a love tap there. <laughs> so yeah, I think... Yeah, just looking at some the notes by Aim Gem. 
Needs to be the way he's approved some bits and that, so one we've got the shop here. So yeah, just a nice little details to it. It's just obvious, it's just little bits of tweaks and that's really more than anything for this, so let's get back onto the road. There we go. Takes a bit setting off, but now what we can do is there we go see I think the first big thing to note actually for those who play Sussex Farm you'll know there is sharks at main port and now there are two sharks here there's one there you can just about see and there is a second one somewhere Um, there's one there. We'll see the other one at some point, I'm sure. Here we are, and as you can see, we can see the second shark coming forward. So, got one up there somewhere, and got another one down there. So, yeah. Also, here's the thing with the bridge condition. Um, before it was quite treacherous actually crossing, and actually, me personally, I actually quite loved that. Don't get me wrong, there's many times I got myself stuck and fallen into the abyss, but now, if I get in here. If we put the front wheel where the middle is, see here, it's a bit of a tiny bit of bump, but that's the thing, now there's collision so you can't fall through, which is a handy little thing. So yeah, it makes going to and from the farm less um, treacherous. There we go. So now let's head to the main farm, shall we? So here we are at the main farm. And let's just stop here a sec. And let's open the little PDA up a little bit here. So yeah, we're looking for the pig farm. The pig pen. And the pig pen, what was that? Do do do. As a secondary gate to the pig pen, so for easier access. So I think that's because you can come in here now and actually mow the grass. So, um, where's the gate to? I think it's over here, I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. See? So, yeah, open and close. Close you. So yeah, you can have a gate there. So if you want to actually mow the pig pen, then you can. And it said, and we'll get access to this sheep pen. The sheep pen, I think that is. Oh, no, sorry, this is the sheep pen. Sorry, my apologies. So yeah, sheep pen here, and uh, this is the pig pen here. So the gate for the pig pen is here. So yeah, 
why would you want to do that? You can add a bit of realism to it if you want to actually drive in, to dump your pigs off, a bit of role playing, do whatever you want. So yeah. Sorry for hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> Good old little Bentley. But yeah, another thing to note with the main farm is if we head over here, the farm silo now takes more stuff. So for those who follow me on my Let's Play series, I've got separate silos for the seed, lime and fertilizer, but now they will all can be taken at the main farm silo. So no extra silos are needed, so you can just go and dump in there. And obviously extract it as always. Now heading over here. Let's get rid of that. So obviously before you had the biogas plant all the way over there. And what you do is you put the silage in there and then you can extract it here at the main farm. But now Aim Jim has also added this little spout here and as far as I'm correct, it is for the digestate, and you don't have to do any features with transporting. You should just get a tanker, pull up here, get a bit of digestate, and Bob is your uncle, and off where you go. So, yeah, that's one thing to note. So, onwards to the next bit. So, yeah, here we are at the barge, and. Ooh, look at this. So, if we enter here, we could. Unfold a ramp. Oh, I'm loving that. Oh, I'm so loving this. And this could be useful for whatever reason. You could use it to just transport bits and bobs from one part of the island to the other. Or if you're like me, who do all your lumbering here at the main farm, but don't really fancy doing the long haul, so what you could actually just do is drive your trailer on, park it here, barge over to the lumber cell point, and then Bob's your uncle. As well, I think over here. Oh, we can actually drive a boat. Got a boat now, folks. Aim, aim jet green boat. So, oh, yeah. So, pretty much basic audio. Actually, let's get rid of that sec. So yeah, onwards we go. So now you've got a grain boat, so again, you can transport grain from, again, from your main farm here to other bits of the other, to the other cell points. Oh, I'm loving this. Actually, let's top this up a little bit, shall we? Go, we'll fill up our boat. So yeah, if we park it here a sec. So yeah, your trigger point or fill up point is here. So what you do is you just dump your grain in here. It is stored in the silo and then the exit at the spout. And as far as I can gather, there's no other ways of extracting it. So if you put crop in here. The way you can extract it is by the boat. This wouldn't be risky with a trader, but I don't recommend that, folks. Also, with the barge, there is 12 straps now. So before, there was four. I think it went from like here to three. I think about four was about the halfway mark, I think it was. But now there's 12, so you have more of a stable load and yeah, you cannot fault that. As well, it said there's a strap and belt for the log crane. So, where's the crane tool? There it is. Let's get in the crane, shall we? Yep, there it is here. <laughs> Just had to remember there for a sec. Oop. So, we'll go up here. Do -do -do. Uh, do -do -do -do. So now I'll go open the side panel because I'm absolutely useless. Okay, wouldn't well, it open that way? So let's do it this way. Oh, there's a the plane, folks! So 
rotate it, you can go left, right, forward and back, and up and down. So you can't rotate it still, but... Oh, I'm up to the that, so yeah. I think you just about see the tension belts, I think. But yeah, the tension belts are there, and they do work. It may not show straight away if you use it as it is, but once you put number there, it will show up. So yeah. Onwards to the next point, folks. So here are folks approaching the straw barn, and one part of the update is there's an added cell point here. So let's just drive over here. So I do love the ease of access. I might actually do love that. So all you do is you literally just drive over here with what you've got and then you just hop off. Oh that was close. And you press L3, well sorry circle to sell the bells and boom there you go. Oh, that was a bit closer with the ship. So just with the capacity of the boat, um, I'll quickly show you that in a little bit. But onwards to the next point, which is at the sawmill. Alright folks, I've got some soybeans here, because I just want to see actually what is the capacity of that boat, so... Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, so we've got the rigid... Phoenix, I didn't have the he rigid pack installed, so we've gone with this instead. It should still work, so I move it still works. There we go, just back you up like so. Okay, I did not go quite as to plan. Um, yep, tried to unload it, didn't work, so we're just picking all of it up now. So let's see what the actual capacity of this is. There we go, I think that's about 80 odd thousand litres we got in here. We've got some already. Man, this has got a big capacity, this has like. It's got an 80, 84,000 years at the moment, and that is at 46% capacity. So, doing the math, um, two secs. Doing the quick math, that's about 183,000 years. 100, I'll say about 185,000 years, roughly, give or take. So, yeah, between 180 and 185,000 years. So, that's pretty much enough for most of these fields. Perhaps if you're doing like the low, well, high yield crops with low profits, like what well, low cost, like wheat and that, then yeah. But yeah, 180,000 years for a little small boat like that. Fair play. But next, let's head back to the main farm, shall we? And let's look at one or two more things. And I think that's about it with the update, I think. Here we are at the fountain, and let's have a look about that water trigger point. So yeah, you literally just pull up it and just press L3 and it fills up. In terms of what tray I'm using, I'm using one of the trailers provided by Alien Jim himself. So, go to tools, go to miscellaneous, mine's all the mods I've already got installed. And at some point, we've got um, the MKU 16, 32 and 64 TARDIS. So, 1632 64 thousand litre so take everything including propane also you got the smaller aquatrans well basically angels version of the aquatrans the universal trans so yep yeah, simple as that so yeah a nice little point now so rather than have to put your own fill point in or whatever just pull up to there and bob's your uncle 
Now let's have a look about removing these to pesky collision, shall we? So you're yeah, heading back to the main farm and according to Aiden Jim it's supposed to be at the main farm now, so have a look at that. So the main farmhouse, which is uh, two secs. Um, there we go. There's the house. Is had to remove all the trash. So yeah, if we go to here, and she's check is not like around the back or anything. Nope, um, let's have a little look here and see where the trigger point is to remove collisions. Uh, Stream lights and on and off, don't want that. Got your seat trigger there. How do you turn collisions off? Oh, I do like that. <laughs> nice little touch there. Um, yeah, how do you remove collisions? Um, so is that the main farmhouse? Um, ooh. Is it down here somewhere, perhaps? Oh, okay, something obvious or something, yeah. I have no idea, folks. I'm better for me a sec. I say about things being obvious. Um, yeah, it's right here, folks. So yeah, we've got hedges and collisions. So you can show or hide hedges. So if you hide hedges, obviously the collisions will still will be automatically removed. But if you still want hedges, but don't want the collisions, there you go. So that pop. So let's go and turn hedges off. So let's see what it's like without hedges. So let's go ahead, turn around. Do a million point turn here. <laughs> okay, we're going to head down there. So let's have it look. So you've got some of those hedges up here around the main farm. So very yes, look at that folks, we can drive through! Hey, there we go, all the hedges are removed. So very similar to, again, Sussex Farm, where you can remove hedges and collisions. Me personally, I actually, I do quite like the hedges, it's just the collisions that me in particular bothers me, but I think, anyways, I think we've pretty much covered everything here. I think, yeah, fishing boats, the bars, tensor belts, hedges, the fuel points, wood chips. Yeah, I think we've pretty much covered everything, folks. So, again, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, smash that like button. Feel free to comment down below. And if you want to share this, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the farmer, everybody's trying to get please do. I'm so close to 2,000 subs. I can only do that with your support, folks. But again, where you should do, I hope I have a sale for now. This is me, Farmer Evil Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.